Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome, Nosy Paul. Thank you. This is Tawani Mnesi. He is a development facilitator for Matanjani Area Program and is also a farmer. This is Tawani's story. Uh, Tawani attended a Empowered World View training in 2018. Uh, that is when his life changed. He said that in 2017, he was trying to venture into uh, farming, but the, the, the business did not go well. So he lost about 45,000 And then he had lot, lost his interest on farming. But after the Empowered World Retraining, he was reignited to start again. He started by converting his car wash space where he stayed into a backyard garden. The space was about 17 by 7 meters, where he planted 500 seedlings of spinach. And then he harvested the spinach, and each day he would make about 45 emalangeni. And then, after seeing this go well, he decided to get into serious uh, agribusiness production. In 2019, which is last year, he rented about half a hectare of land, uh, whereby he then decided to plant green pepper, about 12,000 seedlings of green pepper. And then he used the drip irrigation pipes that he had bought uh, in 2017. He was able to sell that this year around January, and make a profit of 30,000. And then after harvesting the green pepper, he then planted um, butternut, which he is expecting to harvest in August 2020. Okay, the pictures where they show where Tabani started, the backyard garden next to his house, where he started with the, the spinach. And then on the right, it's an upgraded land where now he planted uh, the green pepper. This is the rented half a hectare. Uh, we can see his first harvest of green pepper there. And then on the right, this is uh, the current butternut, which he is expecting to harvest in the next two months, which is like in August. See, see, first and foremost, I'd like to, to congratulate all participants for, for being part of this uh, very empowering and motivating uh, training, Empowered Worldview. Um, and I assure each and every one of them that uh, by the end of the session, almost all of them, they would be in a position to go out there and, and make a change, Umakaya Abo and the whole community. Amen. Uh, uh, as for me, uh, I met Dr. Msonda at a stage whereby I can say I was drowning. I had invested almost 45,000 into agriculture and I lost everything. That was 2017, 2018. I lost everything. Not even a cent came back to my pocket. When I met him, I, I, was, I, I had given up on farming. I just told myself, no, farming is not something you can venture into. He kicked me so hard that that particular night I could not sleep. The following night, uh, I came back from the training, which was the last day. I had to set up my irrigation system the whole night till 12 o'clock. And the people at my community were wondering, what is going on with this young man? At 11, 12 o'clock at night, he's up and working. It was because of the motivation I had. So the following day, I was able to go and purchase my seedlings. And I set up a 13 by 7 plot whereby I, I planted uh, four or 500 uh, seeds of seedlings of spinach. And that came very handy 
I was able to 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 make at least a minimum of 45 a malang in a per day. And that ran for almost two months. And that money opened my eyes. Uh, that, you know, there is still hope in farming. Uh, I, I, I was able to, 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 to buy my utilities, electricity. I was able to pay for my water bill. I, I, I couldn't think of bread as a problem. You know, every day there was something that was as an income that uh, my family harvested. And we were able to, 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 to buy bread and other groceries. So that opened my eyes to say, you know, there is still hope in farming. I can still do something uh, uh, and prosper. You know, having invested into irrigation system, so I had that irrigation system with me, which didn't um, uh, help me 2017. So I decided to go and... Uh, rent a farm locally uh, because one of the challenges that I had 27, it was the distance that I was traveling from, from Matanjani to, to, to Peak Peak, uh, my homestead. It was a lot. So at times you could find that uh, I don't go there for monitoring. So agriculture, you, can, you cannot remotely do agriculture. You've got to be there. You've got to monitor. You've got to to give assignments on daily basis. So hence, those are some of the, of the re reasons that I failed in 2017. But this time around, I went for a farm that is closer to me, uh, where, whereby each and every morning, uh, I will be able to, to go past there. Even when, uh, when I come back from work, I'll be able and go, 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 go and monitor if, if, if my workers, um, have done a, a, diligent, a diligent job. So yeah, I went for a, a half a hectare farm. I planted um, uh, green pepper, as, as Nosipo has, um, has, has highlighted earlier, the summary. Uh, it was about uh, 12,000 seedlings, half a hectare of green pepper. I had a projection of um, around 90 to 100,000 emalangeni as, as income. Unfortunately, uh, it, it, couldn't, it couldn't happen as I planned. It was too hot around December, January. So I suffered a huge loss. But the fortunate thing is that I, I, I was able to, 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 to make a profit. Uh, I made an income of 30,000 in Malangani, of which it was low than my projection. But what, what I'm very glad of is that I learned a lot. And I, it was evident to me that if I, I had planted a little earlier, around June, July, my green pepper, I could have been, I could have hit my 100,000 mark. It is possible. And this year I'm going for it. So, yeah. That is how far I've, I've made with regard to, to green pepper. And now I am uh, currently having one hectare of butternut and I'm not expecting less than 60,000 Malangani. Uh, one, one thing that I'm working on, it, it is a, ex, a ex, eight hectare farm. Uh, I'm almost done with the discussions. It is along the um, Guavoma River, uh, of which I am... Um, uh, I, I will be planting green pepper and tomato at around November, December, uh, targeting the, Febr the February, March market. And I am, uh, yeah, expecting uh, a lot of income. So um, I, I'd like to say to each one of the most attending this training, let us be receptive, let us be positive. It is all possible. Let us open our hearts and minds and be positive, I assure you, this training is a very fruitful training. Then this one is Pastor Andandoyengo Simlangeni. He is a development facilitator and also a, past, a pastor. He's, a, he's a managing the Somdongo office. 
He has also now upgraded into becoming a, a business coach and mentor. Pastor Mlangeni's story is like this. Pastor Mlangeni is um, pastoring a small local church in his home area. The church has had been struggling financially for the past seven years. And then in 2018, after attending Empowered Worldview, Mr. Mlangeni decided to share the concept with his congregation. After sharing, he saw that slowly the financial situation of their church was changing. And then last year, they were able to raise funds and buy a sound system worth 16,000 in And they also raised some funds and have start, will be starting their church building project. This was all an impact of Empowered Worldview. And then Mr. Mlangani was not only able to change his church, but he was also able to change his own life. After the training, he decided to venture into farming seriously this time. Uh, he started with a peacock and a pig hen, two turkeys, two rabbits, two goats, and a few chickens. But now, Mr. Mlangen has around five turkeys, seven breeding goats, 30 rabbits, and 30 Malay game chickens. The big chickens, not the, the normal uh, indigenous chickens. So what Mr. Mlangen does is he plays around with his uh, livestock. He sells and buys more. For example, Mr. Mlangen, when he started, he started with two goats. And then he sold one goat and bought two uh, goats. So now he is able to crossbreed and improve his breed uh, using that those goats. Mlangani has also used the money that he gets from selling the chickens and the goats and the rabbits to finish his house which he has uh, started working on. This is uh, Mr. Mlangeni's story. These are the goals, the Malay game chicken. And then this is the house that Mr. Mlangeni is uh, building using the money. The money that has been used to build this house is solely from the small livestock enterprise that Mr. Mlangeni has. And like I said, Mr. Mlangeni is also a mentor. This is one of Mr. Mlangani's mentees, Sfisoma Palala, who is also, uh, he is also pastoring him at the church. Ma Palala is a university student who, through Mr. Mlangani's training, has been able to venture into farming. He raises chickens, pigs, and also makes uh, nesting boxes for the chickens. As you can see, this is his FISO and his piggery unit. And then these are the nesting boxes that uh, FISO makes and sells. Meet Gabisa. Gabisa is also a project manager for her project in World Vision Eswatini. She has always liked baking and cooking. She says that from a very young age, they will play um, bake out with her friends, visit each other, and try new recipes. And then she later started baking cakes for her friends and colleagues and did not charge. It was just a cottage courtesy. Then sometime last year, a friend suggested that she should start charging just to cover the, the cost of ingredients. Luckily for her, that very same year, in 2019, she attended an Empowered Worldview training and her whole perspective on business changed. She realized she was sitting on a great business idea. In June 2019, she enrolled for a basic cake decorating course in Nelspreet and baked her very first fondant cake. From then, since then, she has been able to improve a lot in, his, in her skills and learned how to price her cakes well. She says that the business is still growing 
she has she still has to make a lot of investment towards it but she is happy with the progress now she does not even struggle with petrol money these are the cakes that ngavisa bakes a very nice delicious cakes moist and tasty i tell you then meet wandile satolo uh he is a development facilitator for she said anyone and is also a farmer uh, you can just see him posing there with his uh input when did i met dr msonda in 2016 at the george hotel uh where he had come for a channels of hope training she he happened to hear about empowered world view back then but was not able to attend the entire training so he just decided to buy the book after reading this book his life was changed he repented and decided to venture into farming he started with uh, maize since it was going to be easy and low maintenance for him and then later did some things in 2017 He decided to set up an irrigation system so that he can be able to grow even vegetables. In 2019 last year, he started cabbage production till to date. He says that he his desire and dream is to ensure that Eswatini has cabbage throughout the year. He was able to even acquire a a tractor and some impl- implements. This one is a uh, uh one delays uh field and his harvest i'm not very sure of how many tons that is but that looks like great harvest from the maize that he planted and then these are the cabbages that uh, one delay is growing and the book that changed his life by dr msonda what i can share is that um with the proceeds i've been able to to construct my house finish my house um i'm also in 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 the move to have cabbage available throughout the year um i'm still trying to 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 study how i can stack up those cabbages so that i'm sure that at least i have 5000 heads of cabbage ready each month um for me uh the reason why i i i chose maize as a start is because i didn't have any irrigation facility so i felt irrigating using rain water would be the best for me because um rain is always there it's a matter of choosing a, a place where you you will have sufficient rain um i had rented a piece of land in a place i think our my, my pastors here will know a place called moyhook just on the way to our former ap ngutseni which is relatively having enough rain hence why i was able to 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 to, to produce the maize that uh, nosipo has just shown the groups and then i think that one was 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 a good start for me because it had literally you know input besides fertilizer and seed and then the how i mean the weeding harvesting and the shelling otherwise for me the empowered world view is, has really been um a great uh, a, a, you know milestone in terms of changing my life because i am able now to with the proceeds from the cabbage i am able now to run uh my my household uh you talk of food for the household you talk of school fees children anything that would need money i i i am able to do hence why i say thumbs up to dr george for having preached such a wonderful gospel to me um i and would love to encourage everyone in in partic- participating today to take it on and definitely lives their lives will change thank you then this is uh, pastor temba ngozo 
who is a pastor and a member of a conference of churches project. He is also an um, um, upcoming farmer. Mr. Ngozo began pregarry production after attending an Empowered World View training uh, last year. So he decided to go and buy his first pig, and then now the piglet, the pig has given birth to some piglets, and uh, seemingly business is booming. Thank you very much for listening. These are some of the stories that I had to share from SRT. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.